The Academic Success Center is a learning support agency here at the Air Force Academy and it is comprised of a few different programs and then we also have some programs that support um, at-risk students and uh, we also support international cadets as well as run the graduate studies and scholarships program. They come here for a variety of reasons. Sometimes they're encouraged to come from their coach because the athletic department knows that we're a great resource um, to help with academics for their athletes. Sometimes they're encouraged to come from their squadron, from their advisor. For my part, um, as an instructor in the QRC, you know, I don't just help with math, although that's a lot of what I do, um, but if the student needs help with study skills, um, how to take notes, how to read a textbook, how to organize themselves, how what are the best and effective strategies for studying for an exam, we help with whatever they need help with and meet them where they're at. A typical appointment is made online, though we do have walk-ins as well. They'll come see me or one of the other consultants and the first five minutes or so, we spend getting to know the project as well as establishing what their goals are for that project. So in that way, it's very much a student-driven time. And that's important because me as an expert can very easily diagnose and fix uh, a writing project at many different levels, but what we want is for students to be able to be empowered to identify areas they need to work on and then to get expert support around those areas. The Academic Success Center goes far beyond the reaches of academia. I'd say it teaches you lifelong skills and I know that in my future interviews or how I present myself has is like forever changed because of my interactions and the work that I put in and the work that the members of the staff of the Academic Success Center invested in me. And so I think, you know, it goes so much further than just here and now and last for years. The Academic Success Center is probably one of the most utilized resources by many cadets at USAFA. And I can talk from my experience, I can also talk from the experience of cadets oh, who are in academic probation because I worked as a squadron academic officer uh, last semester and I was in charge of mentoring cadets who were struggling academically and almost all of them utilized uh, QRC and the writing center and it is, it is very helpful. The effect that we've already seen from the donations we've received have amplified what we can do and how many cadets we can reach um, in an exponential fashion. We use the funds that we receive from the foundation to support primarily our evening hours, which is when students tend to be most available. We can double the amount of appointments we can offer. We can make walk-in sessions so much more effective by having a better instructor to student ratio so they're not waiting a long time to have questions answered and they don't get frustrated because they feel like um, there's just a much uh, better manpower in the in the center to help them um, and then you know then they're encouraged to come back because they had a good experience. The cadet schedule is just packed from the morning to the afternoon and that means that we need to be able to help them from the afternoon through the evening. Uh, a lot of the um, donations that we receive fund faculty who are experienced and credentialed and to come in the evenings to help um, in the public speaking lab, in the writing center. We have a, a large contingent of ESAs in the QRC as well. Uh, just this semester alone, the foundation's donations have helped fund 350 appointments in the writing center and 20 appointments in the public speaking lab, not to mention really upgrading our public speaking lab so that it looks like a professional military space as well as has all the necessary technology. You know, we need to keep up with the technology in our center and having extra tablets to, to show them problems and a better sign-in system and um, different ways of presenting material in our, in our offices so we can have, you know, the, the computer code up on the screen as well as being able to write on boards. Um, so the additional staff, the additional technology, um, it's just made such a difference and we have plans of all sorts of improvements we could still do. 